I'm replacing a slide-out motor on a power gear slide-out system. The motor I'm replacing is for a main room slide which is on the driver's side and it is easily accessible from the storage base just below it. As you can hear, the motor has stripped gears. So before I start, make sure all power going to the motor is turned off. Also leave the slide open about 6 inches so there's no pressure on the drive shaft that connects to each side of the motor and going to the rail assemblies on each side of the slide. I start by disconnecting the shaft on each side by taking off the bolts that fastens the shafts to the motor. These square tubing shafts are telescopic, so you can easily slide them out of the way. Take the other shaft on the other side of the motor off and slide it out of the way. Unplug the 12 volt wire harness. Then take off the four bolts holding the motor on the center plate and the motor will come off. Checking the old and the new, everything matches including the wire harness plug. So line up the new motor on the mounting plate and bolt it back in with all four bolts and tighten them. Now, to reconnect the shaft, if the bolt holes don't line up, just reconnect the wire harness and have someone hit the slide switch till you can slide the bolt back in as it lines up. You gotta go around one more time. Hold on, go the other way, well a little bit. Hold on. Hold on. This one is off like a sixteenth of an inch. Okay. Okay, so instead of doing it manually because now this side is engaged. I put in the bolt. What we need to do is, I need you to clamp it and twist it this way so that I can fit the bolt. That's all I need. If both sides or one side is slightly off, just get a pair of channel locks and turn it just enough so you can get the bolt back in. If this throws the slide out of alignment, just refer to my other video that shows how to realign slide out rails. I will put the link below in case you will need it. Right. Once the bolt is back in the shaft, just tighten it. One important thing to point out is the motor brake. Notice the factory has a safety bar to guard it from accidentally unlocking. If unlocked, the slide will move in and out, which is not what you want while driving especially. What this is for is in case you need to open and close the slide manually, in case you lose power to the motor for example. Next I tie the uh, strap wire harness to the motor so it's out of the way from getting tangled on the shaft or accidentally hit it while moving something in and out of the cargo compartment. And after all that, we make sure it works properly by making the slide go in and out a few times. I hope this helps someone out there. And keep in mind that even though there's different types of slides out there, the principle is almost the same to change a motor on all of them. I will put some links to the parts and the slide adjustment video in the description. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. 
and you all have a great day.